So here today we are at the Caledonian Canal, an audacious project built 200 years ago to cut a new waterway right through the highlands of Scotland. And in its day, it was a time where the, the highlands were seeing a, a deep population, people leaving the highlands and, and moving away. And it really was one of the first projects of social engineering. It had been looked at since about 1620. People had come up with ideas of connecting the sea locks together to create a waterway through, the, through Scotland to avoid boats having to go right round the top of Scotland around the Pentland Firth and those dangerous waters. And the idea had been thought through and had come together, but the engineers didn't have the technology back in the 1600s, 1700s, until it came a real superhero of civil engineering, Thomas Telford. Parliament in 1803 saw the opportunity of the Caledonian Canal bringing together the, the engineering skills that were beginning to develop at that time and to take it to a massive scale. And even at one point, they had to create breweries at either end of the canal so that they could get the locals off the whiskey and onto the beer because that gave a much more productive day and created the waterway that is now the Caledonian Canal. And at the very heart of this is Neptune's staircase, a set of eight locks, 50 meters long, they're 10 meters deep and they're almost 12 meters wide. And they carry yachts and they can carry ships through Scotland. And they're the longest staircase lock in the UK uh, almost quarter of a mile in length, lifting boats 20 metres up from uh, across this piece of the canal. In the old days, they had capstans, which were um, wheels that would, uh, would four men would push to pull the chains and to open those lock gates. In the 1960s, hydraulics were brought onto them. From 1995 to 2005, and a major heritage engineering project came alive and it actually grouted these locks and kept them for the future. And here we are 200 years on with a legacy that still delivers today, an important part of the Highland economy. Behind me, you can see a cafe, a hotel. You can see Thomas Telford's house there where he watched the, the workers building the canal. So 1,500 men engaged in this engineering challenge. And as they say, you know, what better way to welcome the Roman god of sea and water? This would be a set of steps he would be proud of. But what an inspiration to future engineers. The Caledonian Canal is delivering today more possibly than it was delivering 200 years ago. It's an important tourist attraction, a, a marvel of engineering. People coming out here, still using it, paddling it on canoes, cycling it, walking it, and sailing through it on boats. It is such an important resource, delivering jobs, creating health benefits, and delivering an economic stimulus to, to grow uh, the highlands and the highland economy. It is an important asset to Scotland. It's an important asset to the, the engineering profession. And really, it should be an absolute uh, inspiration to young people to join in, become superheroes, become engineers of the future, leave that legacy there for the next 200 years, create and, and innovate and make take the profession to the next level.